What's up, friends? It's Miss Bianca again, here to tell you about our Woman of the Day for Women's History Month. Now, this woman in particular is someone who I think is very influential because it's not a woman who is necessarily on the older side. And I feel like a lot of us have the impression that you have to be older in order to be mentioned for Women's History Month. Not exactly, but this woman actually makes that difference. Let's give it up for this woman of the day, Amanda Gorman. There is always light, if only we're brave enough to see it, if only we're brave enough to be it. Amanda S.C. Gorman is an American poet and activist. Her work focuses on issues of oppression, feminine, feminism, race, and marginalization, as well as the African di diaspora. Miss Gorman has made history by being the first person ever to be named National Youth po Poet Laureate. She recently performed a poem at the inauguration of Joe Biden and Kamala Harris, which was last year. Amanda showed us that in words, we can find beauty, strength, and determination. We thank her for showing us that we are the future and we are the light at the end of the tunnel. Now, Amanda Gorda was actually born in 1998 and she is still alive to this day. Let's listen on. Check out this video where our poetic friend, Amanda Gorman, teaches us how talking more does more. Writing poetry is my favorite way to use my own voice. This is a poem I wrote called Talking Gets Us There. It's normal to notice what makes us different because what makes us different is what makes each of us so special. There's beauty in every type of face and in every type of freckle, from the curl of your hair to the color of your skin. No one is exactly the same, not even twins. But across time and place, people have been treated unfairly just because of their race. So heroes get into good trouble. They have to struggle for a long while, but when they win, it's worth every mile. People of color still experience racism today. So it's up to all of us to say enough is enough, to speak out with all our hearts. And that starts at home. It starts with asking questions about race when we're taught about it together. I know we can tackle racism. But first, we have to talk about it. Watch your favorite shows anytime on the PBS Kids video app. Friends, I hope you enjoyed this woman of the day. I definitely did. Amanda Gorman is inspiring to me because she teaches me that our voice matters and it doesn't have to be said in one way in order for others to respect our opinions or even take our opinions on. As long as we're talking about what it is that we feel passionate about, it'll get through to someone. So thank you, Amanda Gordon, Gorman, for teaching me that. <laughs>